Look out. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Home Recording Made Easy.com podcast. This is season three, episode 10. We're at the end of another year here in 2022. And this week, or this podcast episode, we're going to talk about our goals. What goals did we set for ourselves this year? How did we do it with those goals? What goals do we have coming up in 2023? And I want to try to hopefully inspire you guys to make sure that you're following goals from year to year in your home studio and that you're accomplishing those goals. So that's what we're going to do today. So sit back, relax, get yourself a pen and paper, take some notes and a nice cool drink. And let's talk about setting goals and our accomplishments and where we can do better in our home studios. That's what we're going to do today, right here on the Home Recording Made Easy.com podcast. Well, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Home Recording Made Easy.com podcast. I'm your humble host, David Vignola. Thank you so much for joining me again. This is season three, episode 10. We're at an end of another year. We're at the end of 2022. And if you missed our podcast episode this time last year, at the end of 2021, where we did a wrap up setting goals, what are we going to do coming up in 2022? And I said in that video, and I'll link it in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening to this on Apple Music or Spotify or wherever, you can always go to the YouTube channel and check out the podcast episode because this is both on YouTube as a podcast as well as on Apple Music, Spotify, um, and I think uh, iHeart is the other one that we're on. But anyway, we talked about in that particular episode, uh, we talked about having setting goals. And what goals were we going to set and how were we going to accomplish them? Were we going to accomplish them? And I said, at that time, I'm going to come back at the end of the year and I'm going to tell you how I did. We're going to review what I said I was going to do on camera in that last video. and that last podcast episode, I'm going to tell you how I fared up against my goals. And then I'm going to tell you about the goals and what's going to happen here at Home Recording Made Easy in 2023. So I want you to follow along and ask yourself some of the same questions. How did you do on your goals? And if you didn't set any goals for 2022 and you didn't follow my advice in last year's podcast episode, you have a chance to do it now for 2023. And I hopefully can inspire you to do that. So that is what we're going to do in this particular podcast episode. So first, make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me a five-star review. If you're listening to this on Apple Music or Spotify, it really does help. I really do appreciate it. Also, make sure if this is your first time here or your first time listening to good old uncle dave you go out to home recording made easy.com because i want to give you a free mixing course it's right on the home page you can't miss it you click on the orange button get your hundred dollar mixing course free today and if you stick around to the end of this podcast episode i'm going to give you something else for free so let's talk about what our goals were in 2022. And again, I went back and watched that video to make sure I was accurate. I got a bunch of notes here written down in front of me. I encourage you to go back and watch that video if you didn't to make sure Uncle Dave is being straight and honest with you, as I always am. So let's talk about the, the handful of things that I said I was going to do in 2022. And I urge you, if you did follow along and you did set some goals last year for 2022 because you were following along with Uncle Dave, I expect you to get out that list follow along with me. How did you do? Let's grade ourselves. So what was the first thing? Well, we had a, a, a handful of things we said we were going to do in 2022. Let's read through them. So the first thing was, I said I was going to rebuild uh, a few of the courses on the homerecordingmadeeasy.com website. There were some of them that still were not updated and refreshed. And some of those courses were six and seven years old, and it was time to rebuild those. I said I was going to redo the parallel compression course, the recording in Studio One course, the recording drums course, and the mixing drums course. That was my first goal, to replace those four courses for 2020 and 2022. My second goal was I was going to create some YouTube content on this channel showing you how I make and how I compose music for TV and film. I do a lot of sound cues with, with um, different music libraries, and I was going to show you that process. That was my second goal. My third goal is we were going to post 12 episodes of this great podcast that everybody loves so much. How did we do there? Did we did we do 12 episodes? We also said, um, I also said that I was going to expand the Mixing Music Analog YouTube channel. For people who don't know, I have two YouTube channels, Home Recording Made Easy, which is where you're listening and watching this, 
and mixing music analog, which has all to do with working in an analog workflow with an SSL console that if you're on YouTube, you can see over my right shoulder and hardware and still working inside with a DAW with Studio One, but using it in a more hybrid slash analog fashion where we're gonna expand that YouTube channel. The next goal I said that I was gonna complete this year is I was gonna to continue to work with companies to bring you guys here at Home Recording Made Easy and Mixing Music Analog some more gear demos and things, products that would I think would interest you guys in your home studios, both for in the box and for analog. There was gonna work with some different companies and try to work with, get some different relationships to bring you more of that stuff to help you make wiser choices in your home studio when you're spending money on gear and such. Next goal I said I was going to do is I was going to make content for PreSonus Fear, which is PreSonus's membership where you get Studio One and a whole bunch of stuff. I was going to create some content specifically for that audience. Did I do that? We'll find out in a minute. And then the last goal was I said I wanted to continue to grow my MixingMadeEasy.net membership, mixing membership website. And I wanted, my goal was to acquire at least 10 members in 2022 to grow that membership by 10 people. Now, that membership is only open usually once, twice a year at the very most. We only open membership enrollment usually in the summer around 4th of July and then around Black Friday towards the end of the year. So most of the year, you, you can't just join MixingMadeEasy.net. But when we opened up that enrollment, how did we do? Did we get 10 new members? We're going to find out. So how did we do? Well, let's go through these one at a time and you'll see how you did on your goals. Okay, so the first thing, the rebuild the four courses, parallel compression, recording in Studio One, recording drums and mixing drums. Well, we got about half of that goal complete. I completed um, the parallel compression course. It was a brand new parallel compression course. It was done sometime in late January of 2022. I just finished um, about a month ago, the recording in Studio One course that came out right around the beginning of November of 2022. Um, the reason the delay for that was I was waiting for Studio One version six to come out and it did come out. So I made sure I did that course for all of my new Studio One users that are gonna be using the new version, version six. Now recording drums and mixing drums, both of those courses got delayed and they didn't get done, which disappoints me a little bit. But the reason for that was because as I said, Studio One just came out with version six. Not only did I do the recording in Studio One course, but instead of doing recording drums and mixing drums, I went back and I redid the Studio One Beginner's Guide, the PreSona Studio One Beginner's Guide for version six, as well as the mixing in Studio One Made Easy course for version six. So I still did four courses in 2022. Two of them I was planning on, the other two I wasn't planning on, and two of them got kind of shuffled off. So I completed my goal as far as I rebuilt four courses, but I didn't rebuild two of the ones I was hoping to do, and that's gonna be a goal in 2023, which we'll talk about in a minute. The second goal was the YouTube content making for uh, music for TV and film. Now, this is one I completely missed, guys. I completely missed. Uncle Dave did not get this done. Um, I did create a little bit of music for my sound libraries this year, not nearly as much as I wanted because we got tied up doing some other things, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I didn't record any of that content for YouTube. And that disappoints me a little bit. I feel like I let you guys down a little. I feel like I left myself down. That's been something I keep saying for the last two or three years I'm going to do. And every time I go to do it, something else comes up, you know, and this happens sometimes in business, right? And not only business, even in your home studio, sometimes we have a plan. We map out a plan for the whole year, but sometimes things happening, you gotta be, you have to be versatile enough to adapt to what comes up. So I did not get that one. I did not get that one. I take full responsibility for that one. Uh, the next one was record 12 podcast episodes, one per month. Well, we almost got that. We're on episode 10. This is episode 10. We fell a couple of short. Um, and to just be quite honest, the reason for that was um, I'm starting and really have come run out of ideas for the podcast. I've done so many episodes of the podcast um, that there's not a whole lot that I felt like I really can talk about um, going forward. I know some of you guys have sent in some suggestions about podcast shows and some of those I've implemented in the past and some of them didn't really lend itself to a topic that was good for an audio podcast. There were more 
more of a tutorial. So I did 10 out of 12 episodes. So I feel like, you know what, I close enough for rock and roll, as they say, I still got 12, 10 episodes out there. And I know you guys are listening to them because I checked the stats and lots of people listen to them on Apple Music, uh, Spotify, as well as watching the video podcast here on YouTube. So I'm going to say I got 90% of that goal. So we're, we're doing okay. Um, the next goal was expand the um, mixing music analog YouTube channel, which I absolutely did. Now I just said expand the channel, which can mean anything. If I made one video, I expanded the channel, but I actually made a lot more uh, videos uh, for that. I think I ended up doing something like 96 or 90, 78 videos or something like that. It was clear near 100. So I did expand that YouTube channel. I'm continuing to build that audience. It's a slow but a slow build, but it is working. So I did accomplish that goal. I did more than what I really thought I was going to do. Uh, the next goal was working with companies to bring product demos to you. And that's one of the reasons why a couple of my uh, courses didn't get rebuilt as well is uh, not only did I work with a few companies, I worked with a lot of companies and we really focused Hilly, uh, heavily in 2022 on DAW control surfaces and plug-in control surfaces. We did ones from SoftTube, Console One. We did the um, Icon QCon Pro X. We did the PreSonus Fader port. <laughs> we did the SSL Solid State Logic, UF8, and UC1. We're just started at the end of 2022 working with the PreSona Studio Live. I mean, that's five of them. Um, so a lot of a lot of that was uh, blew up and became a lot more involved in 2022 than I was originally expecting. And therefore, things like making music with TV and film that I didn't do, and maybe some of the other courses that I didn't get to, I just got got kind of pushed to the side, but I did work with companies to bring product demos as well as on the Mixing Music Analog channel, doing a lot of work with my good friends over at Audioscape, bringing lots of product demos there as well. Um, and so yes, working with companies, I'm still continuing to do that. And I have built some good relationships to hopefully bring you some more content that you guys will be interested in in the upcoming year. Make content for PreSonus Fear. That was my next goal. And I did do that. I created actually two courses for PreSonus Sonus Fear, a re basic recording course for the Audio Box Go, the little mobile interface that PreSonus uh, put out. I think that happened sometime in the first quarter of 2022. And then I also did a basic mixing course for PreSonus Fear as well. So Uncle Dave created two pieces of content absolutely free for the PreSonus Fear members. So I did do that. And then the last goal was continue to um, increase the membership in MixingMadeEasy.net by 10 members. Well, we grew it by 23 members which was fantastic. So I got I got way more double, more than double than what I originally thought I would. So by, between opening up the doors in July and in November, we were able to grow it quite a bit. We have more members now at MixingMadeEasy.net than we've had in the four year history of MixingMadeEasy.net. And we're going into year five of MixingMadeEasy.net. So if you don't know about MixingMadeEasy.net, you want to click the link in the link in the description box below and go check it out. And again, we only open up enrollment a couple of times a year. So you got to stay tuned to the website. And if you're on my email list at Home Recording Made Easy, I send out emails when that open enrollment happens. So that was my, those are my goals. That's what I accomplished. I accomplished about 90, 85 to 90% 90 of what I said I was going to do. Like I said, I missed a couple. Uh, I got almost all of one of them done and I had to shuffle a couple of things around, but I am quite pleased with what I've accomplished. Um, I just, I just didn't skip over a goal and didn't fill it with something else. So how did you do on your goals? How did you do for 2022? Did you go down your checklist? How did you do? Did you complete that EP you were going to work on? Did you get some you know, that, that training completed that you thought you wanted to get done? Did you purchase a couple of pieces of gear or software or whatever you wanted to do for your studio? Did you did you get your acoustic treatment set up in your studio? I know you. we have a wide range of goals of things that we want to do. I'd like to know how you guys did. How did you do? You want to keep yourself a scorecard, right? You want to know how did you do? And you don't want to beat yourself up. If you didn't get everything accomplished, but did you, did you stay on task? And when you write those goals, one of the things that I do is I put them on a little sticky note right in front of my computer. I always have them in front of me, no matter where I'm working in my studio or in my office. So I'm always kind of in tune to what am I going to accomplish? What is the plan for this week, this month, this quarter, this six months, this year? And I encourage you to do the same. It's the only way you're going to get ahead, whether it's business or whether it's your own personal growth as a musician, as an engineer, 
whatever it is in life, you got to have goals and you don't need to make them complicated. Okay. So I'm interested to know how you did leave comments below. Let me know how you did. I want to know. I read all your goals that you posted last year. I want to know about them this year. Okay. So now what's coming up um, in 2023 here? Okay. So what I did was I assessed what I did in 2022. I felt like I was pretty aggressive. I added, I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different goals that I, that I had, which is a lot. It's a lot. Seven different big projects is a lot. Um, and so I'm going to, I wanted to try to scale it down a little bit, uh, this year, but I still added, did, did six of them, <laughs> but I wanted to try to be more laser focused on, on what I wanted to do. Uh, you know, going forward here to, to try to be more, you know, try to take a look at my whole, you know, home recording made easy brand and my two YouTube channels and mixing made easy and try to just figure out, okay, what am I going to focus on? That's going to help move the ball down the field as it is. Okay. That's what I wanted to focus on. So here's my 2023 goals that I'm committing to. And at the end of 2023, I'm going to come back and I'm going to report to you and let you know how I did. So goal number one, we're going to recruit, well, actually, it's it's actually one and two, but you can say it's one goal, maybe it's two separate goals. But anyway, there's going to be two new courses next year, hybrid mixing, where we're going to use the SSL and hardware along with plugins, but it's going to be a hybrid mixing courses. We're going to do two of them next year. We're going to do hybrid mixing for a pop tune and then hybrid mixing for a rock tune. That's going to happen one in the first half of the year, one in the second half of the year. So two courses, which I've never done before for the public over on the console with hardware and how it all integrates and stuff. So even if you're someone who's working in the box solely, you'll learn a lot from those courses because outside of the physical gear, the concepts and the techniques are very, very similar and they cross over a whole lot. So I'm going to create two courses for hybrid mixing. And there's a lot of you guys listening and watching this that have some hardware in your studio right? Some of you have a small console. Some of you just have your DAW with your interface. You have a couple of pieces of hardware. All that stuff is going to apply to you. So two courses. So that's goal number one. Um, you could say goal number two is I am going to do the recording course, the recording drums course and the mixing drums course that I kind of didn't get to in 2022. That is on the docket for 2023. It is going to be done. I've already got drums in here and I'm working with companies to get microphones and we're going to do the recording drums course absolutely for sure for the home recording made easy website and then the mixing drums course. Those two courses will be upgraded, will be, uh, will be uh, super powered, supercharged and will be far more extensive far more in depth, far more content than what was in the original courses back from six and seven years ago. That's my second goal. So we got four courses next year, two hybrid recording drums, mixing drums. That's a lot of work. That's a course every three months. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do, the next goal I'm setting for myself, which again is, it's ambitious, but I'm saying it here on camera, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you guys hold me accountable. My goal next year is to really step up the game on both of my YouTube channels. So next year, I'm going to commit to 100 videos on home recording made easy. 100 videos. This past year, I think I did 68 videos on home recording made easy, and I think 86 or 96 on mixing music analog. But for home recording made easy, instead of doing one video a week, I'm going to commit to two videos a week. Now that is going to be a hell of a task to be able to keep up all year round. I have a laundry list of content I want to do. Anyone that's a content creator that creates YouTube videos knows shooting the video is the easy part. The prep, the editing, the publishing, the 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 the, the uh, publishing the video and optimizing it and all of that and titles and thumbnails, it takes a ton of work to do this stuff. Um, it takes all day to shoot a video and edit it and get it ready. And sometimes it takes almost two days to do that, but I'm going to commit to a hundred videos. And again, just so everybody knows here, unlike these other YouTube channels that are out there in the audio recording and home studio space that you guys all watch without mentioning any names, there's only about five or six of the big channels. Uncle Dave is one of those channels. Almost all of those channels 
have assistance and teams of people. I don't have that. I do all the work here myself. I shoot it. I record it. I edit it. I publish it. I, I am yet not big enough, in my opinion, to be uh, hiring people to do the work. Plus, finding good people in today's day and age is very difficult. So anyway... I have to do it all. <laughs> so 100 videos is a hell of an undertaking, but I'm gonna to commit to doing it. Now inside of those 100 videos, it's gonna include some recording content for sure. It's not just gonna be mixing in plug-in demos. I, there's not enough content for me to do 100 videos. So part of the thing that I missed in 2022, which is some of the recording content, that's gonna come back in 2023. It has to, I'm not gonna be able to get through 100 videos unless I mix it up a little. So I wanna to try to bring back some of the recording into home recording made easy and we're still gonna we're still gonna lean on mixing we're still gonna lean on plug-in demos it's all part of the home studio but and product demos but we're going to also now introduce some recording content so that's a hundred videos at the same time my next goal goal number four is 50 videos for the mixing music analog channel so now, now this past year in 2022, I did, I don't have the count in front of me. I can't I think it was like 78 or 82 videos for mixing music analog. I did more videos for mixing music analog than I did for home recording made easy because I was trying to get that, that channel off the ground a little bit and, and it worked, it worked. Um, but right now. With all the work that I'm doing with Home Recording Made Easy, I'm gonna to commit to 50 videos. So that's really just one video a week, which is kind of what I've been doing at Mixing Music Analog. It's one video a week, pretty much. So we're gonna to stick to one video a week in Mixing Music Analog, two videos a week at Home Recording Made Easy. So I need to come up with three videos a week. Huh. Wish me luck. <laughs> and then the last goal is, again, with MixingMadeEasy.net, my goal is to grow it this time by 25 new members. Last year, I set a goal of 10 new members. We got 22. This year, I want to, when we open up enrollment, hopefully do a little bit better job at promoting it and making people aware of it and making it more attractive to get 25 members. So I want to grow it by another 25 members. I want to continue to grow the family in MixingMadeEasy.net. And once again, if you're into mixing, even if you are an absolute beginner, there is no faster way to learn how to make professional sounding mixes, no faster way, anywhere on planet Earth than MixingMadeEasy.net. It is worth every single penny that you, you spend every month and it's less than a cup of, the cost of a cup of coffee a day. And you will be a much better mixer, even if you're just doing it for your own music or if you want to one day do it professionally or semi-professionally, MixingMadeEasy.net is the way to go. I want to continue to grow that membership. We're going on our fifth year which is fantastic. And I want to I want to continue to go, continue to grow and continue to move on and to continue to bring more stuff. So that's my goal. So I have five goals next year. Five. So I cut it down, I cut the list down by a couple, but it's five aggressive goals. And we're going to come back at the end of 2023 and I'm going to hold myself accountable to you guys again. And I expect you to do the same. So now tell me, what are your goals for 2023? If it's something that's carrying over from 2022, that's totally cool. Totally cool. But what are you going to do in 2023? Okay? Last year, I said, if you never set any goals before, you should start thinking about it. And a lot of you did. And I'll bet you there's still just as many of you that didn't. You said, ah, I don't need to do that. And you kind of just get in your studio when you can. And you kind of, you kind of, kind of comes and goes. And you never really get anything done. And we're all busy. We all have jobs and lives and family commitments and responsibilities and kids and everything else, right? But if you don't have a plan and you don't have goals, you're never going to get anywhere. And as I said last year, when we talked about COVID and the pandemic and all that, we're still feeling the wrath of that, but it was, it's definitely better than maybe it was 12 months ago, 18 months ago. And I even said at that time, remember, remember what I said? If you don't remember, go black and watch the episode. But what I said was paraphrasing myself, life is short. We don't know what the next moment, what the next day, what the next month, what the next year is going to bring, right? This life is precious. And there's one thing that we can never get back. You can always make more money. You can always buy new things. You can always, you know, develop new relationships. But the one thing you cannot get back from your life is time, right? And I know that's cliche. And I know you've heard that before, but it is so true. And again, if the COVID experience didn't wake you up and say, you know what? I 
thank God or whatever you believe in, whatever you worship, whatever your faith is, we're not going to get off on that ramp, but thank, whatever you believe in or not believe in, thank that, that you're still here listening to me and watching me. Thank goodness that you're not one of the several thousands, tens of thousands that perished during that pandemic. Because if it's not a pandemic, God forbid it could be a terrorist attack. If it's not that, God forbid it could be a world war. Who knows in this crazy world we live in? It doesn't matter what you believe politically, but if you are if you got if you are awake and breathing and not living under a rock, if you're not looking around going, this world has gone mad <laughs> on some level, we don't know what's gonna happen. Right? And that's not even to say. Hopefully everybody's health, your health stays in check, but God, anything could happen is what I'm trying to say. You get the point, right? We don't get back time. So no matter how old you are or how young you are, make the most of what you have. If you're listening to this YouTube channel and listening to this podcast and you're following Uncle Dave, then you are a musician or an engineer and someone who's into music and into your studio and into recording. And that's your passion, at least one of them. And we all want to get better. And if you don't set goals, if you don't have a roadmap and you don't have a plan, you're going to find yourself one year, two years, five years, 10 years down the road looking back going, man, why didn't you really get anything done? And why didn't you get anything done? Because you're just like everybody else. You're normal. You got a million things going on in your life and you can't stay focused. Goal setting is a way to stay focused. Even if you don't complete all your goals every single year, but you complete some of them and you have a roadmap, it's a way for you to get better as a musician, as an engineer, as a songwriter, whatever it is, right? And so, again, if you didn't create any goals for 2022, I encourage you to try it in 2023, Try it, tape it to your computer, the little sticky note, put it in an electronic document in your iPhone or iWatch or whatever you use. Stay on target because time flies and we're going to be at the end of 2023 before you know it. I think I feel like I just left 2022 recording this episode last year and here I am sitting here again. So I want you to do your goals. Let me know in the comments below what your goals are going to be for 2023. Let me know in the comments below on YouTube here. Did you accomplish your 2022 goals? Give yourself a grade. You can give good old Uncle Dave a grade. And the next year we're going to follow back up and we're going to see how we did in 2023. And I hope all of you have gotten at least some, if not all of your goals accomplished. And I hope I do as well. I'm here all year along the way to help inspire you to, to, to encourage you and to hopefully give you some training and give you some, give you that motivation that you need. I'm just here. Dave's not going anywhere. Dave's going to be here even more than he was last year. Hopefully with all those videos I'm going to create and some of those will be live streams and such. And I'm here to help. So if I can help you in any way, make sure you drop Uncle Dave an email over at homerecordingmadeeasy.com. A lot of you, if you want some coaching, some motivation, some mentorship, I offer all kinds of training. I, you know, Outside of the courses, I have private one-on-one -on -one Skype and Zoom training. If you want to do some consulting, if you want to do some, some goal creation together, if you want me to help you in your studio and motivate you and hold you accountable, we can do that. Go to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and click on the coaching tab or the coaching link at the top of the page. And you'll see all the information about my one-on-one -on -one personal training. And a lot of yous have done that. And we work together every couple of weeks, all year round. And those people are the ones that are, are accomplishing the most because they're not only creating goals and writing them down, but they have me, good old Uncle Dave, to hold them accountable. And if they have to come see me every week or every two weeks and we go through their list of things they said they were going to do, nine out of 10 times they get them done because they got someone to answer to. I can be that for you. Make sure you check out the coaching page at Home Recording Made Easy. So that is our wrap up here for season three, episode 10. Again, going forward into 2023, as you heard, or maybe you didn't notice, the podcast is not part of the goals in 2023. And I alluded to it a little earlier. We've done now, I don't know, 50, 60 episodes of this thing over the last three or four years, kind of run out of topic ideas. 
I don't want to keep rehashing old material. I still like to do the, the subscriber Q&A, and I'll, I'll continue to do those. Or maybe we'll do a handful of episodes next year where I'm really just answering your questions. You guys seem to like that. So continue to send your questions in. And if you have any topical show ideas you want me to include in the podcast, that's going to kind of be after all my other goals are accomplished. I might do some more podcast episodes. It really depends on you guys. And I appreciate all the show ideas that you guys have sent in. A lot of those have been implemented, but some of them, as I said a little earlier, you know, uh, if you want, some people have asked me about, let's do a podcast on multiband compression. It's like, well, that's not really a topic that's good for an audio podcast. That's really more of a video training tutorial. And I get it. Um, specific I don't really use multiband compression almost never. So that's not something I'm going to create content for. But as a podcast, as an audio podcast, it needs to be something, something a little bit more conducive to that. So if I get some good show ideas, I'll do this podcast, but I'm not going to make a commitment to do a podcast every week or a podcast every month. There'll probably be some episodes in 2023, but they will probably be limited unless I come up with more show ideas or you guys give me more ideas that I think will make for good episodes, and then I'll continue to do them. But you can always go back and listen to all the other episodes because all the other stuff is still really pertinent. It's still very valid, and it can help you along the way. It's a good reference library of topics. So that's it for this episode, Season 3, Episode 10. Thank you so very much for listening and watching me today. And now, as I said at the beginning, I want to give you something else for free. So again, you go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com, get your free mixing course. Once you take that mixing course, even if you've already taken it in the past, if you want to get one of my other paid training courses, and again, you heard me say it earlier, I've been rebuilding all the courses and refreshing them over the last 18 months or so to make them bigger, better, bolder, with more content to make them more effective for you. So even if you have the courses from seven years ago, I highly encourage you to consider the upgrades. They're like completely new courses. They're not just a couple of extra videos and everything else is a repeat. They're completely rebuilt from the ground up. If you want to take one of those paid training courses, I want to give you a 30% discount. If you use the coupon code podcast30, that's podcast30, that will take 30% off any training course on my website. Once again, five-star review, like, share, subscribe, leave comments below. And until the next podcast episode, when until we meet again, I've been Uncle Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, MixingMadeEasy.net, and MixingMusicAnalog.com. Thank you so very much for watching and listening to me today, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Take care, everybody.